You're a React developer, so you've definitely heard of Suspense, but it's new enough that you may not have had a chance to use it yet in one of your projects. So let's get right into it. React Suspense in 120 seconds. What is Suspense? It's a boundary for your async components that tells React to immediately display a fallback component, and then when your data is available, to stream in over the network the fully rendered component. We'll demonstrate this with a little app that displays some key health markers. So here's our demo for this video. The initial view of the application, if we reload, is the fully rendered frame and those loader components. Let's take a look at the code. Row here is our primary component that displays metrics, of course, wrapped in suspense, with our fallback component of suspense row, which is just a minimized version of what we have in row. Let's take a look at row. We have our fetch, and we get our root parameter as a string, and then we do some tailwind to make it look nice. When this get data promise resolves, suspense is going to then replace the display of the fallback component with the display of the fully qualified row component. Suspense also lets you take advantage of another great new feature of Next.js, partial pre-rendering. With suspense, the fetching and streaming we talked about all happens at request time, meaning your whole page is rendered at request time. With PPR, you render part of the page at build time and the streaming slash suspense parts of your application are streamed in at request time. There's something else here that's worth paying close attention to. Note that the definition of suspense mentions async components, which means server and not client components. Using the client-oriented error boundary class is not an option as class components are client only. So we need an approach to error handling that works with server components. You'll notice here that we have this if not data then display error row component. Let's make that change to the API real quick and take a look we will return null instead of data. All right, here we go. Boom, elegant error handling that does not short circuit the benefits of suspense. There you have it, React Suspense in 120 seconds.